Hey guys, welcome to the 43rd C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the binary writer class. So, all you're going to need for this tutorial is uh, two buttons an open button and a write button. Once you have those on your form, just double click on the write button. Alright, so we're under the open button, we're just going to want to have this code right here. And uh, I've already showed you this before. And taught you what it is so just go back and watch my previous tutorials if you don't know what this is and you're also going to need to be using the system.io namespace because the binary writer class is uh, in the system.io namespace so now we can um, create a new instance of a binary writer so we're just going to do binary writer and then give a name to your binary writer I'm just going to call it bw and we can now set it equal to a new binary writer and this, just like um, all the other things that deal with reading and writing, uh, call for a stream. So we're just going to do file dot open write because we're going to be writing in this file, and we're just going to use this string path that we've already created. All right, so now we have our binary writer created, and we can begin writing. So in order to write, you're just going to want to do binary writer dot write to use the write method. And this um, is overloaded many times, so there are many different things, there are many different value types that you can um, write into, or write. Um, we're just going to be looking at writing a character first. So we're just going to do uh, C, we're going to write the C character, and it will defaultly write at zero because we haven't specified a position yet. And we're just going to want to make sure we dispose of this binary reader or binary writer because we don't want to get any errors saying like this file is already being used by another process. So now when we debug and click write, now the first character in this file um, should be C. So if we just go back into HXD here, yep, we see we have C right there. And if we were to change this to something else like mm, H, Open our file, write, we should now see H as the first character. Yep, it's now changed to H. So there are many different things you can write in here. For example, if we wanted to write um, an int, we could do that, or a short, we could do that. So we're going to look at writing a short. So just like before, just like when it reads it, it um, will write it in the wrong direction. So if we were to put, just put 1 here, just write the value 1, well, instead of just putting um, instead of putting a 0, 1 right there, it's going to put um, 0, 1, and then um, it's going to put 0, 1, and then 0, 0, because it writes just like it reads from the right to the left. So in order to do that, we're going to have to um, reverse it. So in order to do that, we're just going to first have to create a new byte array, call it buffer, and set it equal to 1. Well, we're going to have to use the bit converter to um, convert this 1 right here into um, a byte array. So we're going to do dot get bytes. And we're first going to create a short, and we'll just call it my short, and we'll set it equal to one because that is the value that we want to write. And then we're just going to get the bytes from our short. So now this buffer right here will um, contain just zero and then one. Well, we're going to have to flip it so that it will write it in the correct direction. So we're just going to do array dot reverse, and then we're just going to reverse this buffer array right here. And then we're just going to go ahead and write this buffer. So now what it does is it basically has um, a byte array right here. It uses this bit converter and it gets the bytes or converts this short right here into a byte array. And then since the, the contents of this byte array will be 0, 0, and then 0, 1 as a different element. And then what it, this um, reverse method will do is it will rever reverse the array so the first element is now 0, 1, and then the next element is 0, 0. 
So since it writes from the right to the left, it will write 0, 1, and then 0, 0, which is exactly what we want it to do. So now when we debug here, click open, open our text file and click write, we should get the correct value. Yep, we see 0, 0, 0, 1, which is exactly what we wanted to do. And just like reading it, we can have it write an integer if we wanted it to. If we wanted it to write some crazy value like, I don't know, that, then we'll have it to do that. And this just means it's hexadecimal. So now we should see uh, those values right there. We should see 2, 3, and then 4, 5 as two separate bytes. Yep, 2, 3, and 4, 5. And it's this long, or it's four bytes long, because it is, it is an integer, and integers are 32 bits long or four bytes long, however you want to look at it. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial on the binary writer. So see you guys.